I would like to urge members to vote, ag vote against the amendment to the amendment. Uh, the day before opening day, we received communication from the majority leader that in strongly encouraged all of us to wear face coverings, just like this amendment strongly encourages it. As was very clear that day, that was not very well taken. Um, there were a number of members who did not wear face coverings, as Senator Klein pointed out, uh, that puts us all at greater risk. We have asked the people of Minnesota to make extraordinary sacrifices this year. They have been with us. They have made them. They have kept their communities safer in so many ways. As we are now starting the process of reopening, my kids will go back to school in two weeks. I am asking you to help us make our safe space as safe as possible and as safe as we are asking the people of Minnesota to make theirs. Uh, this, is, this is not just us, uh, like Senator Marty pointed out. This is our staff, but it's also our families and it's the teachers of our children. Um, it's the people that our spouses work with. This does not just affect us, it affects many people across Minnesota and I think that this is a symbol that we can give that both does something specific to protect us, but also shows the people of Minnesota that we are with them. Um, just as a final point, I will, I will note that when we received our orientation uh, as new members to this incredible body, which I'm very honored to be a part of, you know, we were told that there is a dress code uh, and that it is business professional for women, uh, and no one was willing to tell us what that meant. Uh, but we did let, we were told by other members that they had been told that they could not enter the chamber with open-toed sandals. Um, while, you know, red toenails might be scandalous to some of the people in this chamber, they are not a risk to our health. And I think that we can, can make the point that we are caring for each other and are being, being specific and, and agreeing with the people of Minnesota that we need to do our part just like we have asked them to do their part. Thank you.